Hi there, my name's Alex and welcome to my channel. Now if you like music and you like craft, you want to stick around for today's project. We're making coasters that look like records. For this project, you're going to need some yarn, a crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a darning needle. Totally optional are some things that you could use to decorate your disc or label and an iron set to cool just to flatten out your finished coaster. Records come in two different sizes, EPs and LPs. Today I'm going to make an EP and it'll be four rows of the coloured circle in the, in the centre and then four rows of the black vinyl disc. I'll be using milk cotton yarn and a 3.5mm crochet hook. First start by making a slip knot and then chaining four. If you don't know how to make a slip knot and you don't know how to chain, I also have tutorials on my channel that will help you to um, go through this process. Also the stitch we'll be using for the coaster is a single crochet stitch. I also have a tutorial on that too if you are not aware of how to create a single crochet stitch. We're slip stitching to the very first chain that we created which will form a, a little circle or a ring that we're going to crochet around in. So we're on to our very first round and it will be seven single crochet stitches around that uh, ring that we've created with our chain. Tuck in the tail of the, of the yarn too because this is a great way of being able to hide that. You won't have to go back and, and hide it with um, a darning needle and sewing it in. It'll be nice and neat if you keep that all tucked in. You can see I'm going around that tail that we created, we, f we first started with and that will hide that away nice and safely. So seven single crochet stitches and now we're going to do our very first transition. I'll show you this in detail how to do the transition. The two top stitches from the very first single crochet that we created, you can see at the top there, there's one at the front and one at the back. We just want to insert our hook into that back, underneath the back loop, pick up the yarn, bring it through and then back through that loop that we had on our hook. What that actually does is that joins and, and completes that very first round. So we've got a complete circle there now. Now on to round two is seven increases. So we're going to work back straight into that row or into that stitch that we um, just connected or just transitioned to. And we're going to do two single crochets. Then into the very next stitch, we're going to do two single crochets. Now by doing that, what you're doing is you're creating an increase. We're going to do that all the way around. So that's seven lots of increases or seven lots of two single crochets in each stitch space. And that will give you 14 stitches at the end of that round. And then again, as we finished our round, we want to transition. So we're just going to join onto that back, through the back loop, picking up the yarn and bring it through the loop on our hook. Now this round, round three, is a single crochet, which we've just created, and then an increase. So that's two single crochet stitches into that next stitch space. And we'll repeat that all the way around. So that's seven times around, giving us 21 stitches in total. So on to round four, which will be my last round of the yellow colour or the colour that you're using for your centre. Uh, with the sample I've got here, which is the LP, 
It has three of the rounds of the color and then five of the black. I'm doing four of the yellow and four of the black. So this round is two single crochet, one increase, and you repeat that seven times around, giving you 28 stitches in total. And on to round five, which will be our first round of black. So we want to slip our yellow yarn and add our black in. Now don't finish completely that round that you've just worked on the, the very last round before your color change. What you want to do is undo the very last uh, single crochet stitch that you've created in the last round. And you're going to Put your hook in, yarn over, pull that through, but rather than completing that single crochet stitch, you want to change your colour now. So on to round five and we're going to just pull through that new colour yarn. This is the very last stitch of round four. Then we're going to transition onto the, in through the back loop and then we'll create our very first single crochet in round five, in the black, then another two single crochets and then an increase. So just, just tighten up those um, the yarn at the back, not too tight, you don't want to sort of draw in the yarn, you want to just make sure it's all firm. So we've got one, two, three single crochets and then an increase. So that's two in the same spot. And we'll repeat that seven times around, which will give us 35 stitches at the end of round five. Now on to round six, which will be my second row of black, but my sixth round, which will be four single crochet stitches and an increase. We repeat that pattern seven times around, which will give you 42 stitches at the end of round six. This is such a quick project, we're already up to round seven. So it's our, our second last round of the black. So it is five single crochet, one increase, repeating that pattern seven times around, giving you 49 stitches. Now, as we've finished round seven, and uh, just before we start round eight, I just want to show you something here. So the standard round eight would be six single crochets and an increase repeated seven times around, giving you 56 stitches. But what happens is when you do your increasing with crochet and amigurumi, you'll notice that you end up with these flat edges where you've increased. So if I repeat that, pattern the for round eight the six single crochets and increase it will continue to give me flat edges so what I'm going to do is halfway along each of those uh, those kind of flat edges I'm going to do my increasing there instead so it, instead of being uh, six single crochet one increase seven times around I'll do three single crochets increase then go to six single crochets increase six single crochets increase and so on until you get to the last three stitches you'll still end up with 56 stitches all the way around but it will actually soften the whole circle when you're finished and look more like a record 
I'll put some um, details in the description for you if that helps you just work out how many rounds you need to do to create a larger or smaller disc and how you can break down that increase so that you end up with a rounded, more rounded disc. Now that I've finished round eight, and the same thing will happen when you finish with your very final round, you want to go around the edge of your record with a slip stitch. Now you do this in a similar way that you would actually single crochet around um, on a, a particular round, but what we're going to do is insert our hook into the stitch space, wrap the yarn over, pull it through that space, and then back through the loop on your hook. So you're not really creating a stitch, you're, what you're doing is you're creating a nice flat finished edge on your coaster. Now that you've completed your slip stitch edge, you can cut that yarn, pull the thread through, and we're going to hide all our tails. You can trim off that middle tail that we actually hid underneath our very first round. That's nice and secure in there. And then with the other three tails, just thread those onto your darning needle and weave them on the back side of your work. Just weave them in and out some of those stitches until you've got enough in there secured to keep it all in place and then trim the excess yarn. These record coasters are such a quick, simple, but fun project to make and would make a lovely gift for anyone who loves music, uh, whether they're young or old. Plus they use very little yarn and you can decide how big or small you want them, whether you want them to be a coaster, whether you want them to be a placemat, whether you want them to be a cushion cover, whether you want them to be a rug even. I absolutely love them, but as always, I have to ask my little dog Piglet, what does she think of them? Let's ask Piglet. Well, it seems that Piglet not only loves them, but she absolutely loves the 21 Pilots discs. Can I blame her? Absolutely not. Oh, Piglet, you melt my heart. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it fun and helpful. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe to show your support. I would really appreciate it. I wish you all a fantastic new year and most of all, stay awesome.